One of the bands I remember, I, I just loved the name. I was going through um, a big batch of 45s in some record store. I don't even remember where it was. It might, might have been up in New York, but they were called the Candy Snatchers. And uh, I thought the name was great. And on the cover, it was this really cheap black and white cover with this guy uh, with blood pouring down his face, uh, which turned out to be Larry May, of course. And uh, I had never heard of them, uh, and I bought it simply on the aesthetic of the 7-inch, and I thought that was cool. And when I got it home, of course, my, my life was changed because all of a sudden it was like, wow, here is a band, this guy's screaming his balls off. Uh, they're playing the kind of music I like to hear, and they're contemporary. I'm not listening to some 60s garage band, or I'm not listening to like DMZ or some band that broke up sometime in the 70s. Uh, and then I found out that they were literally just a couple hours south of me. Um, in the Norfolk, Virginia Beach area. The Norfolk and Virginia Beach scene put New York City to shame because everybody goes to every show. Nobody's a snob. Every band shows up to see everybody else's band. Everyone was cool. Everyone loves to rock out. Everyone comes right up on the stage and gets involved in the show. They come right up and they try to grab you. And they, some people try to kick you. Some people steal your drinks. But it's like constant. It's just everyone's there to have a good time. Because they played so much and you know they kind of fit in here so well. I still think they're a New York band. It takes a special moment in time and a special place and special people to make something that like you know something that could like bring up your emotions so much. And then all of a sudden the set ends in two minutes because somebody gets hit over the head with something and they, they have to stop playing. But you're like, that was the best two minutes of music I've ever seen. This was everything I wanted to see in a band. They were everything about the Germs, Flipper, and Gigi Allen, and the Dead Boys all rolled into one. I was seeing so many bands and working with bands as I just started, be, started as a producer. The craziest show I've ever seen in my life, like in my entire life. I've never seen a rock and roll show like this. This is what I was waiting for. It was dangerous, with broken glass everywhere. As soon as they came on stage, it was just beer bottles broken and Larry and Matthew cutting themselves up with, with the beer bottles. All these people just tackled Willie, pulled off all his clothes, he was completely naked, and they set his bass on fire while he's playing. Now, all this would have been amazing enough, but on top of that, here was a band who like raged and had amazing songs. Like They were like, I saw this band play and remembered the songs, which is really rare when you see 90 bands a week. They were playing New York so much that everyone thought they were from New York City. They were like, oh, this, the Candy Snatchers are from New York, right? I'm like, no, they're from Norfolk, you know, Virginia Beach, Norfolk, Virginia, wherever they're from. I didn't, at the time, I didn't, I had been down there like, like, like four or five times in my life, but hanging out with these guys and playing shows down there that I got to know that town and how, uh, how insane, <laughs> how totally insane this little, off, off the, out of the way town was, like how crazy everyone was, and they didn't even realize it. Do you wanna know how now?